I am from Alaska, and growing up, my dream was to go to Royal Rumble. A few years back, I finally had the opportunity, so I, I bought tickets down in Texas, went to the Royal Rumble, and I showed up to the arena early. There was a reserved parking area for superstars, and so I was like, awesome, they have to walk from the parking area to the arena. I'm going to be that jerk that's trying to get some handshakes. So I went out early, and the security guard classic-looking security guard, bald head, sunglasses, came over, yelled at me, go the fuck back to your car, get out of here. So that went on for a few hours. Guys would show up, I'd come over, say hello, security guard would come over, kick me out, and I'd sneak back. So next night, next town, we're going to Raw, and I show up to the arena, same security guard there. And he sees me right away, and he goes, what are you doing, fucking following us? And I say to him, no, man, I, you know, I'm just down from Alaska, and I just really wanted to come to all the shows while I was down here. There's a moment of silence, and he goes, Alaska? I met my wife up in Fairbanks. And from that moment, like, his resolve melted, and we broke down a little bit, and we talked a little bit. Next night, next town, I see him right away again. He waves me over. He brings me out catering, sneaks me out the back door, a, a WWE staff T-shirt. He says, hey, brother, whenever you want, just let me know. I'll put you on the list. And so I took him up on that. I would, uh, whenever I was down the lower 48, I would meet up with the tour wherever they were, and I'd go to a couple shows. I'd hang out with the security guard. And then he extended the offer. He said, hey, if you ever want, you can work for us. And so because of that, I got to uh, join the WWE for a couple shows on, on a short tour twice now as part of the catering crew. And I got to fulfill my goal of working with the WWE. <laughs> Come on. What a love story. A bromance, if you will. They started out enemies, but then they touched each other's hearts and got each other jobs. That's all it really takes is making a human connection. I mean, this is something I learned very early in my career. Just make a human connection. The security guard just sees these people as bumbling wrestling idiots, and he's got to keep them out. But then once you make a human connection, I said human connection seven times, but I mean it, they see you as real people, and then that's how, I don't know, that's how you can make friends. And this guy did make a friend. This Alaskan man who loves professional wrestling. And then I think you realize how lonely a security guard like this is. Because all it took was one person being super nice to him for him to desperately want not only to have a friend, but then the security guard is like, here's food, here's clothing, here's a job. Just took one guy being nice to one guy for him to offer him what you need, the essentials to live. But these were the essentials to live your life's dream. And that's being close to pro wrestling. I hope you guys are still friends. And I'll make you this promise. I will not get you a job with AEW. You know what? That's not even a promise. I will probably not get you a job with AEW, but I don't know. You never know, right? You never know. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.